Welcome back to New Jersey Real Estate Training. My name is Dave Blinder. I'm your head instructor. I'm a licensed real estate agent with eXp Realty in New Jersey, as well as a mentor for our brokerage. In today's training video, we're looking into KV Core. We're going to be adding a new contact or lead to your database. We're also going to learn how to set up automated property alerts so that your buyers are emailed every time a new property matching their needs hits the market. So let's get started by logging into KV Core. If you're not already familiar with KV Core, it's a powerhouse customer relationship management for organizing all of your leads and prospects. And this is included in eXp Realty's $85 monthly fee that is jam packed with a lot of value of apps and technology. So we are on the Smart CRM tab of KV Core. I'm going to begin by clicking on the green Add Contact button to add a new contact to my database. For this trial, we're just gonna add a fellow by the name of Dave Blinder to our database. It is a requirement that you add an email address when you add a new client to your database. You can add a cell phone number as well. We are going to click on permission to email as this is very important. Otherwise, your property alerts will not be sent out by email to your leads. There are some other uh, valuable fields here as well as you're adding your contact. You could also add additional hashtags for lead sources. This is a great way to organize all of your contacts. You could create any hashtag you like, such as open house, seller lead, Morris County, Sussex County, buyer lead, neighbor, how, whatever way you'd like to organize your lead sources. And as your database continues to grow, it's very important that you have an organization and structure in place to recall all of your leads. I use the notes field quite often um, in KV Core. So in this case, let's put in Denville Township, three bedroom, two bathroom, buyer lead. So we know exactly what my prospect is looking for. I encourage you to leave as detailed notes as possible. Okay, so we are now in our main screen of our contact in our KV Core database. So where I'm going to begin is I'm going to scroll over to the lower right hand side to property alerts and click on the blue add button. And there's a lot of options here, so you can actually draw on a map if you like by clicking on the blue Draw on Map button. That'll take just a moment to load. And you can zoom in on any area you like. You can search for areas as well, which should recenter the map. And after doing so, you could click on the green Draw Area button and just start adding any type of polygon shape you like. However, in this case, we're going to X out of the map and I'm going to type into the area. We're going to enter the city name of Denville Township, New Jersey, which will limit our property alerts to a specific town. You can add as many towns or cities as you like here. It's not limited to just one entry, so you could begin entering neighboring towns, towns and cities if you'd like as well. You can also X out of any city option to remove that from the property alert function. We're going to continue scrolling downward here. So under listing type, we have options including coming soon's, condos, which includes townhouses and co-ops. We have multifamilies, rentals, and single family. For today's training practice, I'm just going to select single family homes. Price range is a very important option as well. You always want to be a real estate matchmaker, especially when you're functioning as a buyer's agent. It creates a lot of trust and rapport when you're sending your leads exactly the type of home that they're qualified for and excited to learn more about and to eventually purchase. So for the sake of today's training, we're going to enter a price range of $400,000 to $700,000 homes in Denville Township. We're going to continue downward here. We're going to select on three or more bedrooms. Under baths, 
We're going to select two or more full bathrooms as well to meet our client's criteria. In my experience, the square footage can be hit or miss. For my area, Morris County, the information is getting pulled from Garden State MLS and the square footage is not always readily available. So I'm going to skip over that square footage option. Acres could also be hit or miss, but you can, you can and should experiment to see what gives you the best results for your searches. You have some options of construction dates here as well. Continuing downward, if we click on options, we can see another menu unfolds below that. We have 55 and over communities, properties with open houses only. You could select from properties with pools as well. If you select or click on the green add keyword button, you can dive into some more advanced criteria. Again, these are pulling off of your MLS. They're MLS specific keywords. So in my case, these are coming off of Garden State MLS. Let's see if I can get a keyword to begin coming up. There we go. So we have lot dimension, zoning, business name, and I believe Yep, if you begin typing in a keyword, such as in my case, architectural style, it will be pulling this field directly from the MLS. So if I click on architectural style, for instance, I can now select from different options that have been pulled off of my MLS. So we have different numbers of stories, different types of constructions. So your results and keywords are going to vary based on how your MLS is structured. So these results can be very, very much so hit or miss. So my recommendations are to keep your search as broad as possible. The more criteria you enter here, the less likely it is that your client or lead will be emailed on a regular basis. So you just want to exercise some caution as you begin entering keywords here, as your results can vary. We'll continue scrolling downward towards the bottom. And this is the frequency that these property alert emails will be sent out to our buyer lead. So if it is a priority lead, you do want to send out your notifications ASAP. So there will be potentially a 10 to 15 minute delay of when your buyer gets an email of when these properties are sent out. If they're on the back burners, but they just want to know what's going on in their market, Maybe you'd rather email them just twice, week, twice weekly or monthly in that case. So this is at your discretion. It's up to you and depends on the dynamics of your relationship with that buyer lead. For my hot buyer leads, I always want to select ASAP though, so they don't miss out on the newest listings. That can be very important to some of these folks. So we'll select ASAP in this instance. For email CC, you can certainly CC yourself. If you'd like an email coming into your inbox as soon as these properties are listed, you could also select another family member of your buyer leads as well. It's up to you. So that's an optional field. It's not required. So we've set our basic criteria now for our property alert emails for our buyer lead. We can go ahead and click on the set alert button, see what happens. That'll take just a moment. And we begin seeing results that conform to those constraints we have entered for our, our property alerts. So these are interactive listings. You can go ahead and click on any of them and that will open up in a new listing. And this gives you an idea of some of the details that your buyers can see when they click on the properties. However, in their emails, you will be the primary source of contact and information for the listing agent will be minimized as well. And that's why it's a good idea that you're emailing yourself these property alerts. You have an idea what is being sent out to your prospects at all time. And it's always a good idea to set yourself up as a sample contact in advance, just so you're most familiar with this system. Let's see. Just to double check that your emails can and will be going out, I do recommend clicking on the gray more actions area off to the right side of your contact file. And we can confirm that our client is subscribed to emails as we now have an option to unsubscribe them from emails. There's an option to subscribe to text as well as you like. And behavioral alerts will notify you when you're 
prospect logs into KV Core and is looking at properties. And there could be some artificial intelligence in, in play as well if they subscribe to text, which will ask them more about what they're looking for and make sure you're sending them the right properties. So there's a lot of advanced functionality on KV Core, which we'll be diving into in future videos. But this is just a primer on getting you started and how to get these automated property alerts going to your buyer leads. I hope that was helpful to you. If you have any questions all about using KV Core, let me know. If you'd like any information on onboarding with eXp and what our brokerage can offer for you, I'd also love to have a chat with you. For any other comments, drop them right down below in the video. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.